time for tonight's rescue of the week, which was all caught on an officer's body cam. Hey, are you out of the fire yet? A pair of deputies are first to arrive on the scene of a house that is up in flames. It belongs to an elderly couple, and despite being wheelchair bound, the woman has managed to rescue her dog. Do you have any other dogs? I'm gonna push you, okay? <coughs> Just hold on, okay? No, no, I'm gonna hold on to you. I'm holding on to your shirt, okay? Is that him? Crap. Hey, sir, can you hold on to her, please? What's your husband's name? Safely removed from danger, there's no time to wait for the fire department. It's a race against the clock to locate her husband before the house comes crashing down. Spotted in the backyard, possibly disoriented. Come this way, you. Right. We got your wife. She's in the front. You guys only had one dog. Yeah. All right, we're good then. The house on fire has been completely evacuated. Joining me now is Deputy Diego Gonzalez of the Kern County Sheriff's Department. Deputy Gonzalez, first of all, thank you for joining us. Now, I understand you and your partner responded to this call, but. You thought you were going to be assisting when you got there. That is correct. Uh, we're getting a call of a fire, a house fire, and I'm thinking, let me respond so I can assist the firefighters with the traffic coming in and going out. Well, one of the things we always talk about is as a police officer, when you fight a fire, you don't have the equipment. You don't have the protective gear. So what were the conditions like in and around the house? I think in the audio, you can hear the cracking and the loud sounds of the fire. But what you fail to see or feel is the intense heat and the smoke coming out of that house. It is extremely hot, and the smoke itself makes it difficult to be breathing around that area. So you scaled the fence to get in there to find the husband, but how did you get out with him? It almost seems like my partner and I were sinking together because by the time we ended up reaching the east side of the house, my partner had demolished and removed that fence for us to clearly and easily get that husband out of the backyard and into safety. Deputy, I just want to say congratulations, and not just for these heroics, but I understand you just had a baby girl right before this all went down. I got to say, it's so great. Your daughter someday will get to watch this and know what a hero her dad is. You know, I thank you, and I appreciate the kind words. And it was kind of difficult telling my fiance, hey, we just had a house fire, and she's saying, I'm doing a, in a week. What are you doing? So it's, it's very... Uh, it's an honor to help people out, out in the streets every day. Well, we're all very fortunate to have people like you out there, Deputy Gonzalez. Congrats to you, your fiance, and your beautiful new daughter. We're all appreciative of what you did. Thank you so much, and I appreciate the time. I think it's one of the special things on the show is when we get to talk to these heroes. I love it. But you said in there, there's another PSA you might have for people at home. Right. We just talked about smoke alarms. You have to have a, a, an escape plan, right? Not just having an escape plan, but practicing it, knowing that you, we're going to meet right here across the street at the neighbor's home so everyone goes to that singular spot. And in particular, I think with an elderly family, that becomes more important. But fortunately, thanks to Deputy Gonzalez, everything worked out.